Hi, my name is Trilla Ray Carter. I'm a professional cellist and teacher and director of the Kansas City Baroque Consortium. And we're going to talk a little bit about how to choose the right size cello for your growing child or beginner child in this case. Um, so the cello rests on the body in three places at the base of the sternum and between each knee. Doesn't, the knees don't have to extend too far along the edge, just along the back edge, but this holds the cello in place with the assistance of the end pin so the arms are free. This is very, very important to realize when you're new to the instrument, okay? Base of the sternum inside each knee. Now the other thing to be aware of too is is the size of the cello will affect the length of the neck and this will affect how comfortable it is to sit at the cello. If the cello is too small, the neck will be too short and the end pin or the um, C peg here on the inside will often collide with the side of the head. We want that C peg to be basically behind the ear, just behind the ear, so that the neck is, your own neck is comfortable um, in moving freely as you're holding the cello, okay? That's one of the things that you wanna look for once you've got an idea of a basic idea. If they're, I would say if they're fourth, fifth, or even early sixth graders and not big for their, for their age, then I would, I would fit them first with a half or three quarter size. And then once you go, uh, once they are getting close to um, five feet up to a three quarter and beyond that, then kind of watch and see when they're ready for the next size. And both their teachers, private teachers and their school teachers can help guide you in that, okay? So you're looking for base of the sternum inside each knee and then plenty of length on the neck so that it fits easily behind the left ear of the player, okay? I suggest once you find that comfortable position, you do this without worrying about how long the end pin is. And once you find that position, have the cellist hold the end pin, hold the cello in that position, and then just release the end pin and you'll find how long the end pin needs to be. Now that changes with the kind, the height of chair that you might be sitting in, but that gives you a good idea of how to, to first fit your, your uh, child to an instrument. Now if they're younger and don't have a school teacher that they're working with, if they're doing private teacher, private lessons, their private teacher will be very good at helping you determine what size instrument they should be playing on. Um, but for, um, for the really little ones up to first grade, they should probably be on a quarter size cello, even an eighth size cello if they are small. And then working their way up from a quarter to a half size cello up until about third or fourth grade, and then we're looking at half size cello to a three quarter cello, usually about the time of sixth to seventh grade, sometimes eighth grade, they'll move to a, from a three quarter to a full size. Okay, hope that helps.